Ladies and gentlemen, I swear to God, I just did one of these like a week ago. What happened to December, man? Welcome to the state of the channel for, uh, I guess all of 2022? Starting January 2023? I don't know. I don't even know what game we're playing yet, because, uh, I haven't recorded it yet. So it'll, you'll know before I do. Uh, you, present day you, will know before current time me knows, because future me has not yet told current time me, which is past us to current time you. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? Uh, anyway, welcome. Um, it is, uh, I'm recording this December 26th. And it is very, very early, but I'm doing it because uh, I cannot promise I will get to it before the end of the year. Um, your old pal Jason has got a lot going on at work, and uh, at least one or two late nights, like, immediately leave work, go do another thing for a few hours, and then, you know... <clears throat> back to it the next day, a couple of nights between now and then. So we're doing this a little early. And I'm here, I am here uh, to say thanks everybody for hanging out all year. I do appreciate it. You guys have been, you've been just, just swell, right? You've been okay. You've been, you've been, a, you've been little troopers. That's what you've been. Um, what do we got happening? Well, at the time, uh, we are still in Baton Kaitos, almost done, looking ahead in the January calendar. We'll have that for a couple of weeks. Then we'll have another two replays, um, non-traditional uh, role-playing game replays. In fact, uh, we're going to look at Gun and Bastion. And then after that, <clears throat> February, we're going to shift gears a bit. Uh, your old pal Jason, currently, if you follow along, I, I put out videos on Sunday, I stream on Monday, put out videos on Tuesday, stream videos go up on Wednesday, I put out videos and podcast on Thursday, and then I have Friday and Saturday where I, I don't do anything. Uh, that's a lot. That is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That is that is five days of the week. For And it's not a lot of work every day. Like, I'm not pretending that it is. Uh, please don't take it that I am pretending that it is, because it's not. It absolutely is not. But here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. That is still five days worth of content that I need to get ready, that I need to uh, add, move around, make public, schedule, put in playlists, add to the website. Uh, we'll come back to the website. <coughs> There's trouble afoot. Uh, but all of that. So, starting in February with the project coming up after Bastion, which I just finished recording a couple hours ago, which is a replay of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, we're gonna have videos Sunday, stream Monday, nothing Tuesday, Wednesday will be the stream videos, Thursday is still gonna be podcast and videos, and then nothing Friday, Saturday. So what I'm doing is instead of having two videos a day every other day. Basically, we're going to have three a day, twice a week. Same amount of videos for you guys, more time in between them, kind of, and uh, less work for me. So I, I think it works out uh, pretty well. And uh, spoiler alert, after Bat and Kytos, we have Gun, then we have Bastion, then we have Final Fantasy VII. Now, I was digging through my folder, uh, things I still need to finish uh, replaying and oh, I screwed it up because I just added some new stuff um let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen okay at sixteen games in that folder fourteen of them are RPGs traditional strategic, tactical, or otherwise. They are RPGs. There's still Final Fantasy 8, 9, and 10. Chrono Cross needs redone. Breath of Fire needs redone. 
I uh, want to do Dragon Quest XI because I had so much fun with 8 and 9. Earthbound needs redone. I've got to do Final Fantasy II, the Origins version. It didn't get redone yet. Final Fantasy Tactics, Gungrave, Little King Story, Mega Man X Command Mission, Saga Frontier 2 needs redone, Tactics Ogre, Let Us Clean Together, uh, and before you, I'm not touching the remake. It looks like garbage. And so does, by the way. I, I saw screenshots of the pixel remaster of Final Fantasy VI. That's garbage. It looks like absolute trash. Absolute trash. And the thing, thing being, it looks like, it looks like somebody put it like on the Game Boy Advance and then put a filter on it. It is horrible. I, I screen or side by side at a screenshot from the pixel remaster and the original and sent it to some people who have not really seen the games before. And I said, okay, which one do you think looks better? Everybody picked the Super Nintendo one. I said, which one do you think is older? Everybody picked the Pixel Remaster one. It looks like crap. So no, we're not doing Pixel Remaster stuff. And no, ain't happening on those games. <clears throat> so anyway, got a lot that needs replayed still. Uh, but, you know, Final Fantasy VII went fine. Uh, I did it in, like, 30 fewer hours than I did um, the first playthrough, mostly because I, I cheated. And you're going to lie about it? I cheated. And when I, when I cheated, it was things like getting a lot of battle points and AP stuff at the very end of the game to get materia mastered and things like that. I wasn't, like, leveling up amazingly high because you don't have to in that game. Um, I just did not want to spend a lot of time, uh, getting a lot of money to go to the gold saucer, to get a lot of points, to go to get a lot of points from the battle arena, to get the points, to get the thing, you know, I, I didn't want to do that. So I just cheated my way through that stuff. Did it make any impact on the game? Honestly, no, but I did show, show off a few things I didn't in the first playthrough and, and vice versa. Like I, I'm not going to master the enemy skill in this one just just so you know why because i don't care I, I really couldn't be bothered sorry that's future stuff we'll get into that later happening right now over at the channel got 134 subscribers that's that's uh one new one in the last month thanks whoever you were uh alvin alvin Peck, kingdom of gaming this never looks right to me i've looked at it it never looks right um Currently still doing Baton Kytos. We just finished the stream of Eight Doors, Aram's Afterlife Adventure. And um, the final episode got you know, several views on it. It's probably because I named it The True Ending. Because I did show off all three in the stream. Uh, if you joined us for the stream, I appreciate it. If you've been watching the videos here on YouTube, I appreciate that too. It's an excellent game. I, I cannot recommend it enough. And last I saw it, it was on like super amazing good sale over at Steam. So it does have its foibles. Um, one of which being there's no V-Sync, which is not great. And the other, um, there's some translation issues. And I had some save problems, which I think was more my fault looking back on how that all went than the game's fault. So is it perfect? No. Is it damn good? Yes. Do I recommend it? Yes. Um, we are, well, we had, we had a discussion about what we were going to start streaming in January. And, um... Now I don't have it in front of me because that's on another thing. Nope, not that. Boop, boop, boom. Boop, boop. Uh, the game I wanted to play is coming out in the latest Humble Choice. Ooh, look, Elden Ring. Elden Ring's a thing now. Uh, anime sale, ninety percent off. Wow! Get some animes. Uh, let's see, my purchases. Most recent. There you go. Well, that's not the most recent at all. Let's go. There you go. Just, you had to update twice. 
is weird. Um. No, that ain't it. No, here we go. They renamed it and then they moved it. Uh, we were gonna do a game called Backbone, which, um, reading the little thing here. You're not special, you're not a hero. Thrust into unfortunate circumstances. You find yourself with no other option than to unravel what might be your biggest case yet. There is no choice. We change, but we change nothing. Get to work, detective. And it goes on to say it's a post-noir narrative adventure. Become raccoon private eye Howard Loader and explore dystopian Vancouver. Ah, beautiful Vancouver. Should have been, we're a raccoon. Should have been Toronto. Uh, inhabited by animals as you uncover a deeply personal story of change and transformation. It's inspired by film noir. That's a good point. Uh, weird sci-fi. Possibly a good point. Post-Soviet aesthetics in Vancouver. Uh, modern Political Regimes, The Works of Lynch and Kaufman, yeah, and Existential existential, excuse me, Philosophy of Sartre. Sartre? I've never heard that pronounced the same way twice for two different people. Uh, it's a linear cinematic narrative experience that subverts genre and challenges your perception of what it means to be a person. Um, it's ended up kind of being my shtick. Uh, that we do noir games, detective games, and stuff like that uh, on the streams, and we were going to do that one, but I don't think it's going to be available uh, when we get to our next stream, because these usually come out uh, like the first Tuesday or the second Tuesday. I don't remember for sure. But I was flipping through my um, Steam library to see if there was something else we could possibly do, and I found a game called Genesis Noir, a cosmic adventure. And I think it's going to fit in fairly well. It's a point-and-click story-rich exploration adventure game that says, <clears throat> A noir adventure spanning time and space when a love triangle between cosmic beings becomes a bitter confrontation. You'll witness a gunshot fired by a jealous god otherwise known as the Big Bang. Jump into the expanding universe and search for a way to destroy creation and save your love. And it's very, very arty. Very, everything's like black and white line drawings. and I think it looks fine. Uh, we're going to try that. It's got, there's a deer and there's pro like a ruler and there's a guy playing a saxophone. So I, I don't see anything really like stand out a chicken police because I really liked chicken police. The more I think about it, the more I like that game. Um, but we're going to do that one and we'll do that one. And then when it's done, we'll move on to something else. And, uh, and then we'll go back to um, Backbone a little later on. I got sidetracked looking at the bottom of the page here. Fellow Traveler is who made... Um, uh, who published Genesis Noir, and it looks like a game called Citizen Sleeper, Bacon Pines, a uh, visual novel, to your adventure, and Paradise Killer, story-rich investigation, open world, and three friends already own that game. One of them is our pronunciation expert, Ragnax. Anyway, uh, so we're going to do Genesis Noir, and we will start that up um, the 2nd, January 2nd, we will start that. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, what else can I tell you? I don't really have a whole heck of a lot else. We got a lot done, I can tell you, over the last year. Um, getting all the videos re-added. You know, playlists all remade. Thumbnails, descriptions, all of that stuff. Uh, the website. Yes, we need to talk about the website. So, I went and I bought me some hosting because, I, as we talked about, I wanted a one-stop shop for all the crap, me, so everybody could, like, you don't go to that end of town. That's that's where the bad things happen. So, I, I bought some hosting, I built this site, um, I bought some WordPress hosting. I don't really care for WordPress, but it was... Uh, basically looking spec wise 
it was what was going to do the job that I thought I needed for the price that I thought was going to be fair and and be scalable enough as to what I was going to do. Because we're not, you know, not doing anything, oh my god, crazy interesting. We're just putting up pages. That's all I was doing, right? So, the issue is... Um, I have got 3,752 pages over on this website. And each one of those is... And, and not even each, because I don't think I finished. I might have. I don't think I did. No, I did. I finished this, but I didn't finish the rest of it. Every Let's Play I currently have is over there, and every episode has a page over there. So that's why it's so big. Now, unfortunately... It's been erroring out as I've been trying to work on it. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got a hold of my host, and they're like, well, you know, all we can tell you to do, because, you know, it's WordPress, all we can tell you to do is you just need to spend more money and get better hosting with us, of course. Um, that's, that's the only thing you can do. It's the only thing that'll work. Well, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Because if I'm going to spend the extra money, right, I want I want something more flexible than WordPress. WordPress is very nice. I don't want to dunk on WordPress too much, um, but I want something different. I want a I want a better CMS than WordPress. So I've been looking around. Like I I used Drupal in the past. I really kind of liked Drupal. I've heard good things about like Joomla and and all of that, so I might be looking into doing some of that. Um, I, I have a host I would like to use. It's um, someone I've used before, someone we used before. I think back in like County Line Gaming days, we used these guys, and uh, they're um, they also have web. Our WordPress hosting, which is a lot cheaper than what I'm doing now. And the reason I went with who I got now is that's who I had the domain registered with for uh, Low Bias Gaming. So I just, I'm here, I'll just stay here. But I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, if I do decide I'm going to move and rebuild everything, get a CMS, maybe I'll get the CMS Coolio designed for Low Bias Gaming. Maybe he's got that done. Maybe I'll bug him about it and install it on my website. I don't know yet. Um, but that may be a thing that happens. So in the interim, I have not been updating the website with new episodes uh, because the website doesn't seem to want to handle new episodes. Okay. So I don't know for sure uh, what's going to happen with that. Everything is still there. Everything is still visible, still watchable. Uh, just like it is here on the YouTube channel. Um, I, I still think it's just easier to find over there. It's easier to locate and navigate. So, you know, you do whatever you want. I, I will get another thing built uh, because I, I like having that option um, for, a, for a home on ye olde internet. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um... So we talked about what's been happening. We talked about what's coming up, recent future. We talked about near future. Uh, oh, so uh, going back to upcoming replays. Now, I mentioned a hell of a lot of those games that I got coming up are all um, RPGs. And I want to break it up a little bit and not have it just be so straight, like JRPG style for the next three years. Because Breath of Fire, not exactly a short game. Chrono Cross, not exactly a short game. Final Fantasy VIII and IX, not exactly short. Um, Origins 2, pretty short. I don't know about Dragon Quest XI. I imagine it's going to be kind of long because eight and nine were long. Final Fantasy Tactics is 50-ish parts. Uh, Mega Man X Command Mission, I think, is less than 20. I remember Saga Frontier being kind of long, like... 30s or 40s, and I think Tactics Ogre is also going to be in that 30-ish range. And if I'm doing three a day, that's 10, that's five weeks. 
So every every 30 part game is going to be a little over a month to do. And I've got a couple of games that are going to be two or three times that. So there is a year's worth of RPGs just sitting there waiting for me to re-record them. And to break it up, to keep it a little more fresh, I've I've thrown in some other games that I thought about maybe streaming. But going and looking at some of the time that it's going to take to beat some of those games, I've decided to shift them from streams to Let's Plays because they're going to be so short, uh, really short stream games. Like Eight Doors is not a very long game. We did it, I think, in five weeks, two hours uh, a time. But I did have, like, there was a lot of wandering around one day because everything got lost. And then I had to replay the whole thing because the saves got lost. So... I've got some other games just kind of sitting, hanging out, that are going to be our fillers. i um, not going to tell you what they are because I don't know what they're all going to be yet. One of them, I will tell you, is going to be Katamari Reroll, which I got in one of our um, humble bundle choice things. And while I'm usually opposed to remakes, remasters, and all that, this one, I'm going to be okay with this one uh, for a couple of reasons. I played it a little bit. They didn't add anything. They didn't really mess with it at all. Not like when Final Fantasy Tactics went to the PSP. Uh, it looks great. Like if they were to just put in the cutscenes and the voice acting, I'm 100% on board with that. But then they started adding like new classes and new characters, and the game didn't need that. If it needed that, it would have been there the first time. Uh, but Katamari. Um, when I recorded my original Katamari Let's Play, it was on a really old PlayStation 2 with, I think, my old Easy Cap, just like my USB 2.0 capture thing that I had to run through, like, an S-Video connector and all this other stuff, and it didn't look good. And I've wanted to redo it for a while. So, initially, I was like, okay, I've got this new capture thing. Um, what's this called? It's an Aver Media 2 Plus, and it has been very good. If you're watching Baton Kaitos, it was recorded with that. So I thought, I'll use it with that. I got a HD adapter for the PlayStation 2 so I can plug it into there. But then, like, the next month, this came out, and it's on Steam, so I can just record it off the PC. So probably do it that way. Anyway, that's another thing for another day. Uh, but that will be coming up probably after Final Fantasy VII. Because I, I think that'll give us a good palate cleanser, I guess you could say. Because Katamari, it's a fun game. It's a very solid game. It's not a terribly heavy game. You know what I mean? There's not a lot of, you know, garbage in terms of plot and character development and all of that. Anyway, uh, so keep an eye out on that. After we do Katamari, I don't know. I think I'd like to get Breath of Fire done and out of the way. And then we'll pepper in another game, and then we'll do another RPG, and then we'll pepper in another game. Um, Breath of Fire is top on my list to replay, and so is Mega Man X Command Mission. Uh, similar to the uh, first Katamari thing, um, when I did Command Mission for the first time, I wasn't using this Aver Media thing. I think this was actually two or three capture cards ago because I've I've owned a couple, right? There was the Easy Cap. I had this Hop Hog thing that was like an IDE card. I really liked that, but it would only capture from its own weird little proprietary um, component adapter. Um, so it didn't look super great, but I've got a computer good enough that I can emulate it now. So I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go it, when I do command mission. Uh, or Gungrave. Gungrave is one. Have the first one. Played it. Really enjoyed it. I've got the sequel. I didn't play much of it because I ended up having to work on something else. And they're making another one that's coming out on Steam. I might. If the sequel is okay, we might do... Like Katamari, Breath of Fire, Gungrave, Command Mission, Gungrave 2, Final Fantasy 8. You know, we'll, we, we might spice it up a little bit. I don't know yet. So any, any feedback, any thoughts, greatly appreciated. Now, I've talked much, much longer than I intended to for this. There was a lot to go over. Uh, so I'm going to go. 
I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you all for subscribing and hanging out. I got to go find something I can record a half hour of footage with. Oh, boy.